This episode is going to start and end in a trucking yard in the remote little town of Borolula in the Northern Territory. We're here today to pick up a boat. The boat belongs to me mate Ash. He's lived here virtually his whole life. Recently he started mud crabbing professionally. That's a big boy. Hell yeah. After an unfortunate incident earlier in the year, he's just had his crabbing boat completely refitted and repowered with a very large 250 horsepower V6 Yami. Oh, oh, oh. Boat is too small. Too small. Way too small. Nice one. Good on the day. <laughs> Many of the other professional crabbers in the region have already been out working for a month now. So Ash has a lot of catching up to do this crabbing year. But he has a secret weapon up his sleeve. He bought a mothership. It's a portable home base he can sleep on that can put him right on top of the crabbing grounds, saving him hours a day in travel up and down the river and big dollars in fuel. The only problem is, this boat is nowhere near ready to launch. Steady wins the race. How do you reckon, Ash? Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah. All good to go, I reckon. Oh, good masking job. <laughs> That's where the anodes go on. Good, good connection there. Oh, yeah. Good team effort, mate. I reckon. So now that the boat's ready to hit the water, it's time for some trailer repairs. And lucky for us, young Damon was on hand to help. This tadpole has certainly lost his tail and grown his legs. Time to get hot. Not only is he a skilled welder, he's also the only one of us that's small enough to fit under the trailer. Right after uh, six days of hard labour, getting the boat ready, <laughs> we got it down here at the ramp. What do you reckon? Ready to roll, mate. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Tell us how you feel. Excited. Got a young boy here. Is a bit of safety. Got the, the big rope. Just in case we haven't launched this boat yet, so just in case it starts dragging the tire to backwards like that. <laughs> so it's not till about now that things get interesting. Yeah. This small tinny has snuck in behind oh, the yeah. houseboat and is completely obscured from Ash's view with the wind blowing straight towards okay, it. Yeah, you're moving now, man. Yeah, Good one. Oh, Ash, you better run. Oh, you better run, man. No, no, there's a boat behind you. At this point, old mate in the back of the tinny is just sitting there watching the houseboat come quickly towards him. With no idea of how I could possibly help prevent the collision, I quickly head over there anyway. By some miracle, Ash has managed to avoid hitting the tinny up. by inches. Holy sh That is unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there he 
is the lumberjack up there refueling the Jenny. That means we can. Yeah, got to run that aircon tonight. Woohoo, you beauty. So, see, it says Barra, Barra Star Fishery. Don't panic, we are not netting Barra Mundi from this boat. It's just a houseboat. This is all uh, Queensland gang signs. Okay, goodbye, land. Off we go. Beautiful. Actually, got a few dogs with us this trip. We've got Scylla. Hey, Scylla girl. She's just recently become a mum. Here's a little puppy dog. Hey, pup, pup. How are you going? We've got a little fluffy Tilly there. And then uh, we actually have, uh, yeah, 10 more. <laughs> So we've got 13 dogs on board. Let's do this. And a Mikey. And a Mikey. <laughs> One buffalo. Oh dear. Oh, look, two more dogs. Add to the 13 we've already got on board. Got a couple of stowaways, we've got Adam. Another stowaway here. You just wanted to bring your dogs over, did you? Yeah, bring them over to the play, eh? Making sure they're right. Oh my God. Once we get settled in our spot down river, the plan is to do some fishing tonight and then go check Ash's crab pots in the morning. Lumberjack here with the chopper rod. Slaying the barra in the light there. He goes, you know, Joey, you know I There's love Joe Rogan you. in there. And he's like on the red wines. And I go, oh, I like you too, man. I was like, lamb chops, some chili, ginger, garlic, onion, special sauce. I'm gonna cook it up here. The rice cooker is on inside. Swiss army knife. Good one. And I put Good one. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't reach it for you, but there's the net when you're ready. Uh, she's landing batter off the front. There's the net man. Lamb chops cooking over here. Come on, send it. Oh, good fish. Oh, I can't reach that far. Good babe. Yes, landed. <laughs> oh, what do you reckon, dogs? <laughs> All right, man, you're up, up there for like, th oh, the onions are burning. You gotta hold the net for a second. <laughs> Not bad, man. What do you reckon? That's uh, a, a 75, 80? 75, I reckon, yeah. That is unreal, man. Good fish. Whew. <laughs> this cheeky little cast off the front deck here. I had to go through the maze to get him a. Uh, Get in the landing net. Anyway. Good one. We've had a feed of barra for that today for lunch, so we might let him go, eh? Yeah, go on. Beautiful. Hold on, Ashley. Too easy. Too easy. Oh, oh fucking Trevally. Why are you joking? Nah, golden Trevally, man. <laughs> oh, nice fish. Yes. Get into tackle world and catch and get yourself a chopper rod, mate. Never know what you're gonna catch. <laughs> they call it a chopper rod. It needs to be a bloody houseboat rod, doesn't it? <laughs> That's it. See ya, fella. See ya, mate. Off you go. Woohoo! Good one. Good one. <laughs> All right. No idea what you can see, but we're standing on the bow of the houseboat. We've caught several fish: two golden snapper, golden trevally, barramundi, cod, and uh, yeah. Might as well have the camera rolling. 
get some more clothes on and come do some real fishing. Yep. Yep. Oh, good barrow just out the front too. Is it? Oh, well, no, I don't no. think I've got a barrow though. No, 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 not your one. It's out the front. Oh. Yeah, Trevally, I reckon. Must be, it's zipping me. Yeah, Trevally. <laughs> just you, up there. Good oh, barrow. Oh, out oh, 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 yeah, the front there, big barrow for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo, beauty! <laughs> Friday night lights, how good is it? <laughs> oh, yes! Got the chopper rod. The, uh, what, Zerik flat shad just popped straight out. How good is that? <laughs> Unreal. See you, buddy. Tarpon? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, it's jumping like that, I would say very plausible. Living the dream. <laughs> Why not, eh? Someone's got to. Someone's got to. There you go. Little tarpon. <laughs> nice one, man. Awesome. <laughs> we'll let him go. Yeah, send it. We don't need fish cakes today. <laughs> Perfect. Mate, ready to roll? Absolutely. Let's do it, eh? All the dogs securely on board in the aircon. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna go catch some crab. It's playing. There are only 49 crab fishing licenses in the entire Northern Territory, with 60 pots allowed per license. Ash leases one and a half licenses, so he's able to run 90 crab pots. So as you can see, the daily mud crab run is a very repetitive process. It usually takes a few hours to complete. But the big difference now is, during the whole crabbing run, we're only about 10 or 15 minutes away from the mothership at any given time. Because it is such a repetitive process, I'll just show you a couple of the last pots that we check in the run. These guys are well known for the quality of their crab, and checking this next pot shows you not to judge a book by its cover. Good ones. Well, that's okay. Let's see what's going on. Yep, yeah, he's a good one. Solid. He's a bit soft, I think. Yeah, he's a bit soft. Doesn't look like he'd be soft, but you can't tell from just colour alone. He's a bit soft, that one. That one's undersized. Oh. All right, last last part of the day. <laughs> A well-oiled machine. <laughs> A couple of good ones in there. Oh, that is a big crab, that one there, eh? Well, there you go, folks. Pot number 90. All good. Well, I'm in a pretty good position at the moment because I don't know how to tie up mud crabs. So uh, Ash has got a big job ahead. And, um, yeah, we're just going to pull up around the corner here and um, tie crabs. 
while I drink beer. <laughs> easy life, easy. <laughs> At the end of the week, it's time to head back to camp and load up the ute with crabs. We take them back into the trucking yard in Borolula where this episode started. The crabs from here will end up travelling 1,000 kilometres on a road train to Darwin. From there, they'll be packaged up and given a plane ticket to places like Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane, where they'll be delivered to restaurants as live mud crabs in just a couple of days' time. There's a bloody jack of all going down. Faster than If this is your first time seeing one of my videos and you think you might want to see more, let me recommend this video called Mud Crab Fever. It's not all about crabbing, we do plenty of fishing too. And if you've been a subscriber for a while, I'll turn back the clock to a video you might not have seen from 2019 called Superstition. Terrible fishing and bad luck, but it's still one of my favourite videos that I've made. <laughs>